Good morning in Mabuhai, Philippines, and to all my friends around the world, hello, and thank you for visiting us. So some of you asked me, you know, what about the drinking water here? Um, is it potable? Can you drink it? Is it safe? Um, my answer to that is generally no. It looks clean, it seems clean, but it's not. I bought an expensive filtration system for about $60, $70, uh, you know, uh, I think it was 3,600 pesos, whatever it is. And it works somewhat, even with the charcoal filters and all those mineral filters and everything inside there. It works a little bit, but the water's not that good. In fact, when you're done and you put it in a teapot and stuff and boil it out, you can still see residue on the top of the water. It's not great. So for cooking and maybe for coffee, you know, after it's been filtered, you can use it. I still prefer to use the, the filtered water. So what do you do? You buy your water. It's very cheap, I believe. If I remember right, and we'll find out in a few minutes, by the way, I'll put the price right up on the screen. I think it's like 35 pesos, so like 60 cents for this big jug filled up. The catch is you're gonna need a jug. So you can buy these at the mall or a few other places. They're not very expensive. And to refill them, like I said, about 35 pesos. We'll find out in a couple of minutes. And you have yourself some perfectly clean water. There's a spout on the bottom to refill your water bottles and put them in the refrigerator or to fill your coffee pot or whatever it is you need to do if you're uh, if you're uh, if you're cooking or whatnot. So what we're going to do today is we're going to take our mostly empty container and I'm going to use the car that I rented to go to Southern Palawan to go out into those islands the other day. So we brought it home, we still have the car, so hey, why not? You're also going to see me using the scooter in another video uh, to pick up the same water. You can totally pick up your water on the scooter, especially if your scooter has a pass-through between the legs, and I'll show you in a minute. But let's go do it, guys. Let's go get some water. It's water time. Later, brother. So that pass-through I was talking about here, I prefer a scooter with an opening on it. I can put that right there and have a little left over, you'll see in the video when you're driving with it, a little room left over for my feet. So if you don't have that, maybe you can balance it between your legs on the seat, but that's pretty hard. So today though, I have the privilege of my rental car. I'm going to use it. Why not take full advantage? And I have a video of me riding with this on the bike uh, to go fill from last time. So we'll show you that as well. Drop that in there. By the way, I recommend if you're going to be here for multiple months, probably have two or three of those if you can. Fill them up at once, or at least two. They, they run out fast, you know, every few days. Depending on how much water you drink. I like to drink a lot of water, so it goes quick. But let's jump in the car and do it. I have air conditioning. There's no air conditioning on the motorcycle, guys. Go figure. Why not, man? No seat belts, no air conditioning. You know, life's tough. Welcome to the Philippines. <laughs> you have to have patience, man. Just have patience. Everything's good. If you have patience and an open mind, this is an amazing place to live. If you're impatient and in a rush all the time, oh man, you're just going to frustrate yourself. And you're not going to be happy. I mean, you know, same advice for the rest of life. It's good to have patience. Yeah, the old saying, patience is a virtue. Virtues are really good to have some virtues, right? All right, man. Let's check out the water dealer. Boy, guys, having a car this week, which I have to return today or tomorrow morning, uh, has been an incredible blessing. I, I, I just, I forgot what it's like to have a car. There's one water refill station, but there's another one up ahead. I forgot what it's like to have a car, man. Having a car is absolutely beautiful. Air conditioning, oh my goodness. Not directly in the sunshine. Oh my, how nice. All right, here we go. The water place. So your water dealer will look something like this. There it is right there. We'll take it to you now. Beautiful sunny afternoon. For me it's morning. I just uh, I was up till first but sisters. I was up till like four in the morning trying to organize my edits for uh, 
you know, from the trip I took to Babalik Island. Balabak Island coming up. So we went to the southernmost tip, the lower tip of Plowin. One of those places very few people go because everybody goes up north to El Nido. Really, really nice place. A lot of great resorts and stuff, but there's very few resorts and things down below. I'm gonna take you in order and run you guys down. So hopefully the next couple days I'll have the first video out and then start boom, 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 listen to them after that. Welcome to Island Treasure. Bye, girls. Bye. Bye. Right, let's go see what this gentleman has for us. Hey, brother. Afternoon. Can I get a Rico? Thank you. All right. You want to be on YouTube? Drive by film? Yeah. Awesome. They do a really good job here, guys. They clean the whole bucket out. You can see the guy's busy, too. Soap and water to get rid of the bacteria. As you can see, man, they're cranking along all day long. So generally, as it looks like, most people will drop their water off, I guess, in the morning or something, come back later. Because I always see tons and tons of jugs here that are waiting to be picked up. So the ones with the plastic wrapper on it are completed and full. I don't recommend leaving the water out in the sun, but uh, so I, I don't like the idea of dropping it off. And the other ones are empty, waiting to be cleaned and filled. What's your name, brother? My name's David. That's me, David. I'm Jack. David's my water guy. So, the local water, before filtering, can you drink? Uh, yes, but there's so much chlorine in it. There's chlorine? Yeah. There's more than that. It's also not too clean. It's kind of dirty a little. Yeah. Yeah. It, uh, it's filtered, but, you know, it's just for dirt. So yeah. Not for the dirt. Right. So, he says, yeah, the local water is chlorinated. Um, I don't smell that much chlorine, but I know when I boil it, I see oil and things. It doesn't look good. But, so, I'm going to stick with the filtered water. If it tastes good, it's cheap. How much is it? Uh, 30. Yeah, so I said 35. It's 30 pesos, so 60 cents. You got five gallons of water that looks like five gallons. Is this 10 liters or? Thank you. These are 20 liters. So, it's a 20 liter container, guys. You can do the conversion. All right, so I gotta pay the gentleman, huh? I gotta give you money? <laughs> All right, fair enough. Hey, would you hold that for a second? Show me. Hey, you wanna show them your stuff? My, my new camera is showing you guys around the water. What are you uh, These are the filters that we are using here on the water between the station. Sediment, carbon, and then the last one is the softener. I don't know if you can see the, the name. Then we got two filters here, and the last one is the RO or the reverse osmosis filter. Ah, good man. I like that. It's perfect, man. Keep the change, right? Oh, that's for you. Thank so, you. man, he gave you a whole uh, rundown on the process. So that's RO water, then reverse yeah. osmosis. Uh, this one is the RO. All right. And sediment, carbon, and then softener. All right, and then last step is RO. And then after that, we got one micron filters. Right. So 99.99, right? And then the last one is RO. 
And the last step is all that? Dang, guys, that's pretty, that's pretty clean. So somebody did a test, right? Yeah. Uh, parts per million, I saw online. And there was something like a thousand parts per million, really, really high on the tap order. But they I did a test after filter, it was only like two parts per million. It was almost perfectly clean. Oh, yeah. Do this. Uh, He's doing a PPM test, guys. Parts per million. That's awesome. These are our top water. So one, this During is summer. half water. Okay, 155 parts per million. And so he's going to do our, his filter water next. So that tap water is better than I saw the guy online. And we're down to point of, no, 002? Wow, that's great. All right, so two parts per million. What a huge difference. So there's a reason for the taste and quality. And I'm not going to die. I, I have food poisoning three times here, but not from the water. <laughs> my American. when you go to Nido. My American stuff. Oh, watch the Nido? Because there are a lot of foreigners that get, uh, I forgot the name. Uh, um, what is it, food poisoning or sick to your stomach? Yes. They have diarrhea. Yeah. Right? yeah. yeah. They have to be three times in Manila. <laughs> Eating street food. <laughs> must be a terrible experience. It's not fun. No, guys, yeah. Getting food poisoning is not fun for like seven days. The worst one, seven days. Every 15 minutes, sit down and use the tap water. <laughs> hey, man. All day shit. God bless you. David, right? Yeah, David. All right, David. I'll see you next time. Thank you, man. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. You carry your water jug and put it in the car. Or in the, in the scooter like you saw last time. I mean, you could possibly carry it you know, in the scooter without putting it on the, the shelf like I showed you. But I don't recommend it, it's dangerous. This is a little heavy, uh, 20 liters. Put my 20 liter container right there. That thing tripped me twice. Yeah. So, Prime Waters Water Filtering Station. New taste of purity. 32 stages of purified water. So yeah, it's really good, man. And RO water is good by itself, but all that pre-filtering um, is pretty awesome. So you guys, stay tuned. Malabic Island coming up. So we went to the southernmost tip, the lower tip of Palawan. One of those places very few people go because everybody goes up north to El Nido. Real, really nice place. A lot of great resorts and stuff, but there's very few resorts and things down below. So we went all the way to the bottom. We, we show you a bunch of different resorts that we tried to stay at and that we did to stay did stay at. We show you one of the hot springs and spoiler alert, it was closed. So that's the thing you're gonna find when you're traveling down south. A lot of things listed on Google Maps, you know, it's kind of sketchy. And the pictures, obviously, they're trying to sell their hotel or whatever, the pictures are kind of, they look good. You're like, hey, good, I could stay there. But when you get there, you go, whew, no, maybe not, maybe not, right? So we're gonna go down there, we're gonna take you with us, enjoy the adventure with us, and we're gonna show you some of the resorts, what they're really like, the ones that are really open, and we're gonna point out some really good ones too, so when we go down, be aware, at the very southern tip of Palawan, all the way down before you go to Balabic Island, uh, Balabic Island, or you go on your island tours, there's almost no decent accommodations. Uh, the last one we're in, absolutely no AC. Thankfully, it had fan and electricity to charge my packs, but that's all it had, nothing else. Uh, but it did have a cool beach, a cool rocky beach, if you don't mind rocky beaches. But nonetheless, it's an awesome journey, man. Seeing how people live down here is great. So coming up after this video with the water purification, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna start listing all that stuff. I stayed up to four o'clock in the morning last night, naming all my files, trying to sort it out. And so I'm gonna take you in order and run you guys down. So hopefully in the next couple of days, I'll have the first video out and then start boom, 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 listing them after that. So Malabic Island coming up. We're gonna take the speedboat out to the island, which is kind of a cool little trip in itself. We passed a really awesome island. And we're gonna tell you like things to be aware of like about booking your uh, tours and stuff because we missed out on the island hopping. Don't worry, coming up, we're gonna do island hopping probably in Honda Bay, also up El Nido. So there's plenty of island hopping coming. We just wanted to do this first. I really wanted to show you what it's like driving in the country, so to speak, right? In my, in my world, we call it the country, the wild, uh, the, the rural areas, the places that are not city. And boy, oh boy, when you hit the lower tip of Palawan, the southern tip, it is absolutely rural as can be. There's very little infrastructure. In fact, there's almost no electricity except for that last part because of the dock, the pier, for the Coast Guard and stuff. 
but there's nothing much there. The lodging is, you know, that big. Um, expecting air conditioning and, and, you know, sort of first world accommodations of any kind down there, nothing. Uh, not even a gas station. Yeah, no normal gas stations either. But there are some stops before it. So we'll point them out. We'll tell you where to go. We'll show you a couple really nice hotels so that you can, you know, do your last stop if you're if you're hopping on your hopping if you're hopping down the island. So where are you going to stay? We're going to show you where to stay, and I think you're going to like the places we picked out. And those were painstakingly found too. I, I went to one after the other after the other after the other. I did my research for you to try to find the ones that are good. And most, by the way, most are very few. Like, I think Rio Tuba's got like four or five places. Pretty much everything out of there, there was only one place I found that I like. Uh, Brooks Point has a really nice place that I like, but the other place uh, looks good online. You know, you'll see. The point is, we went and explored it for you to give you a heads up. So if you and your wife, or your friends, or whatever are coming down here and you want to party, you'll have an idea what it looks like. Can you party in Rio Tuba? Can you party in Brooks Point? Can you uh, party at the tip of the island? Well, you can party anywhere if you don't mind sitting in the woods, right? But it is what it is. And I can't wait to share these videos with you. I had a lot of fun. It was a really rich experience. And uh, I'm just excited to publish these things. And then after that, I'm probably gonna do the island hopping here and then head up to El Nido is the, the next thing in mind. And then I probably want to do Mindanao, which is a crazy place. It's a big, big place. Check that out. And then somewhere along the line, I might come back to Lausanne, which we've done, and do the top, but I want to hit the other islands in between as well. So there's a lot of things in my mind. i got to sort it all out and figure out what I want, see what you guys want too, what you guys enjoy. But that's it. And back to the water video. I wanted to let you know, the lava, I had a hard time saying it too. It's kind of funny. Watch me in the videos, me trying to pronounce Balabic. Blah, 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 blah. I was so bad at it. But Babel. B A B A L C A C. Babalik. Babalik Island. I'm still messing it up. Um, was a was a cool trip, man. I hope you join us. Uh, I can't wait to see you guys in the comments, and I will catch you in a few minutes. Let's run this water home uh, before I dehydrate. Got my water, baby. I've got it stoked. It's so cool getting water in a car. Uh, I wish I had a car in the Philippines, but a small compact car, but with some good clearance. Though you want something with clearance. And this car doesn't have the best shocks. Something with good shocks and, and, and better clearance. But the AC alone, man, ooh, it's worth it. The last thing I like is a vehicle big enough, like a truck, and to own a couple of kayaks. Because there's so many places I want to hit the water. But, you know, uh, I have no boat. I have no kayak. Alawa 101. Most beautiful place in the world. Well, Philippines is well, most beautiful. Well, Philippines in general. But plowing's nice. I can't wait to see the rainy season, guys. I'll probably regret it, but it is what it is. I can't wait to actually have some rain. See you inside. The water time is complete. My brother's opening up. Security. Do -do 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 Hi, right, people, brothers and sisters, I have returned with the jackpot. So this lanyard, um, I, I'm one of those people who tend to put your key, their keys down around the, their house or their rent or whatever. And uh, sometimes I can be forgetful with them. So this lanyard, as simple as it is, has been a lifesaver to me. So when I'm running around some new strange place with my keys, um, if I'm not tucking them in my pocket, I just throw them around my neck. They're always with me. I can never forget my scooter keys or my rental keys or whatever it may be. So, simple thing. In fact, I'm going to talk to you guys about a bunch of simple things too in one of the videos coming up. You know, little tips and tricks that I picked up along the way. Simple stuff. Again, not too complicated, but if you don't have them and if you're not prepared, it might make life a little harder. So, we're all about making life a little easier, right? Let's do it. What the... Again, if you have a scooter with a pass-through, I mean, that is great. It's an easy way to do it. We come bearing water, 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 on camera, water. There's the container of water. And they put like seals on it and stuff so that you know that it's fresh and not been tampered with. Pretty cool. Very happy, guys. So that is how you get water in the Philippines. 
Or you could just run down to the local store and buy like a five or a 10 liter bottle. It looks like a big, large water bottle, kind of fat. So you can do that too, but it costs a lot more. So, but if you're in hotels and stuff, that's the way to go. Uh, if you stay at something like Red Planet in Manila, they have free water and dispensers with hot and cold dispensers. I like that too. Catch my breath. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. <laughs> Good seeing you guys. Shut up, man. Dude's like, don't breathe, man. My breath is fine. I got good breath. It's the other end we worry about. Anyway, guys, good talking to you. This is water in the Philippines. You even saw the parts per million test in the purification place. So pretty cool. This is like two parts per million. This is really good clean water. I'll see you in the next video. Watch the upcoming season. Balabak. Balabak Island. Go to the tip of southern Palawan, all the way to the tip, into the middle of nowhere, the last frontier. Literally, they call it that. Take a speedboat out to the island, and we drive around, we explore, and meet some indig indigenous tribe members, and have a good time. So that's coming up. This this is going to throw this up real quick, this, uh, this little water thing. And then uh, more, actually, to let you guys know what's coming. So we have that, that whole journey video, six days in that car you just saw, driving down to southern Palawan. What a journey. By the way, you can take motorcycles down there, but uh, unless you watch my video, I recommend maybe you don't because you're gonna find a lot of really bad places to stay, places that you don't wanna sleep in. I mean, honestly, I don't recommend them, especially if you spent five hours, four hours, six hours, whatever, on a bike in the sun. You want something a little bit clean, a little bit of air conditioning, you know, that doesn't smell like mold, right? You want something reasonably clean, but you want something affordable too. And to me, affordable is in the $20, $25 range per night, you know, US. And I'll put the pesos up here if you like. But something in the $20, $25 range that maybe even has a pool, we'll see in the video, right? And uh, maybe has some beach swimming, we'll see in the video, right? Or at least has some air conditioning, a fan, and a nice shower. So guys, see you in the video. This whole series is coming up in a matter of days, right after this water video. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters of the realm, remember, love one another and let's, let's explore the world together. together. Yeah, baby. Rock on, man. What a water.